Hi everyone, it's Sintang Mayumi. I'm back with an art journal video. I hope you like it. Some of my friends on Instagram wanted to know the process of how I sketch and color my daily watercolor art journal uh, that I'm posting on Instagram. So today I got the chance to film a video. Um, it's been a while since I've done a voiceover, so bear with me. The sketchbook that I'm currently using here is the Stillman and Burn Alpha series. And the size of this sketchbook is 7.5 by 7.5 inches. I found some snacks in my pantry that I want to sketch. So those are the ones that I'm going to sketch in this video. I sketch them first with pencil so I can erase any mistakes that I will have and you will see um, that I will be back and forth erasing some lines uh, during this, this uh, pencil sketching. So what I do is I observe the lines from the object and the lines doesn't have to be perfectly the same because I'm not trying to make it look like a picture. For me, it just needs to look good enough um, for me on my journal. And I'm just uh, capturing the essence of the object. And these drawings are not going to the museum, so the, it doesn't need to be perfect. After I'm done with the pencil sketching, I will go over the lines with my 01 Figma Micron Pen. I like the micron pens because it is an archival ink and also waterproof ink. So the ink doesn't bleed when I use my watercolor over it. I'm going to let you watch the sketching part and I will be back when it's done.
After I finish with sketching, I will erase my pencil lines. I use my Stedler Mars plastic eraser. Some people just do pencil and color their sketches and other people sketch directly with their pen and color. I like to sketch with my uh, pencil first because I don't have um, confidence yet to draw with my pen directly on the paper. That's why I sketch with pencil and then I go over it with my micron pen. The watercolors I'm using here are Daniel Smith watercolors. Daniel Smith watercolors are really good quality watercolors. That's why I love uh, to use them when I'm coloring my sketches. So I'm still learning to mix my colors that I have on my palette. And uh, I'm also learning to observe the colors that the object have. I followed someone on or I'm following someone on YouTube and Instagram. Her name is Becky Cow. So she is really good on sketching with pen and layer layering colors and mixing her colors. I learned a lot from her videos, so I highly recommend to check her out uh, to check her channel out. And uh, she have a lot of tutorials on YouTube and I watch those and I learn a, a lot from them. So I'm going to leave her link in my description box below if you're interested to check her channel out. I also use my zig markers and my white jelly roll pen for some highlights or uh, I'm using it for making the lettering more whiter. The coloring doesn't have to be perfect either. Use what you have on your palette or you don't have to color it with the same color like the object you have.
and my journal spread is complete. I'm going to add the date and time when it was finished and also uh, some writing below the date and time. You can add more writing than what I have. Other people have more writing than sketching or drawing on their journal. It's really up to you because it's your journal. Do whatever makes you happy. You can also add here uh, some receipts, pictures, papers, and other things that you want to add here in your journal. I do that too sometimes, especially uh, with the receipts or sticker from the apple or banana, whatever I want to add. So here is a look of my completed daily art journal spread. I hope you liked today's video and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.